You told me once to forget the past, because it doesn't matter. But you're the one still tied to the past, Spike. Hello, I'm Jason Jaco of Prince Jaco Productions. I'm here behind the mic with voice actress Wendy Lee, or the Miss Talented Wendy Lee, as her colleagues call her. Oh, oh sweet. I, I say, Bryce, uh, <laughs> I can't even say his last name. Kevin Brooks? Yes, I talked to him through email. He's like, I haven't direct, or she hasn't directed me in a while, but he referred to you if you want to talk to him about it. She's like, Miss Talented Wendy Lee is exactly like his quote. That is so amazing. I'm, I'm putting him on the spot on that. On That's that. so, so sweet. Yeah. He's just a good guy. <laughs> but um, <laughs> for the, uh, all of you that don't know Miss Wendy Lee, or if you don't, stop watching anime. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, she's been in the game for a very long time. True. True. All right. I grew up on Digimon. You did TK. Aww. So you just said Digimon. All right. Mm -hmm. I played TK. He was the youngest son of all the Digimons. And and his brother Matt is the coolest. Okay. For Shiggy Yuki. <gasps> she was a little more. She was a younger voice, but she was kind of like down and depressed. Just kind of sad and... Kind of, I don't understand that show. <laughs> Magic Knight Raiders, you did two voices. Oh, Magic Knights, please save Severia. So I did Emerald, and I also did... Makona, would you stop that? Water Dragon! And then your favorite, uh, your favorite role of all time, you said? I can't imagine what that would be. Something that my friend here can share with me um, a little show called See a Space Cowboy. Right now you do Yorichi from Bleach which seems to be a show that might go on forever as you read it. How do you Possibly. feel about that like doing like a 26 episode or 50 episode thing is something that might go 500 more how, what, what's your thoughts and feelings on that? Uh, that Other than a paycheck. Job security. Job it's security. rare. Actors don't have much job security. Um, really, I think what comes to mind is a dream cast of working with Johnny Young Bosch and Michelle Ruff as closely as I get to. And then, you know, all the other sub-characters. It's really remarkable. I'm working with some of my very favorite actors, Julianne Taylor. Um, yeah, gosh, so many. Um, everybody that's on that show really helps to make it diverse and um, intricate and complex. And I think we just really are fortunate to have such a strong cast that does justice to the material. All right now, you voice direct the basically all the Tales games that have come out, right? Yes, I what's, have. What's can you sum up the difference of directing that as opposed to directing an anime? It's very different. Uh, that's a good question. Basically, anime is very, um, it's, it requires a lot of technical skill because you're matching the images. So it's image driven and it's all about making the sync work with the picture. It's a completed production. We go back and just make it sound as if it originated in English. When you're working with video games, the material is being created and drawn and, and generated while you're also recording the voices in most cases. So we're um, working with our imaginations a lot more with description, closely with the game developer because much of the material is in the game developer's mind and it hasn't been realized. So we're not using uh, picture-driven images most of the time. Most of the time it's lists of lines. And sometimes the actors don't even have context as to what it is that they're responding to. So it's up to the director to keep the actor in the know so they understand what kind of dialogue surrounds their line and how that's pertinent to the rest of the story and the action. So it's a, it's a, a faster moving cadence with games, more volume of work in a small amount of time, a lot more screaming and yelling and fighting efforts and taking damage reactions and things like that. So it's a different technical challenge. Sometimes we have a little bit of picture, we refer to it as the movie section, generally with games, but you're working in an imaginary world on a mission that we rely on our producers and our development team to keep us in the know about. Um, some of the releases that have come out recently have been Haruhi Suzumiya, the movie, the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, which I dare anybody to try to say ten times in a row because <laughs> I cannot do... Would you like to do your Haruhi voice? Oh, yes, Haruhi. Um, if you are a time traveler, esper, shapeshifter, or alien, then you are welcome into the SOS Brigade. If not, you're late. 
So now you have to buy that movie because she did that for me. So <laughs> buy the movie. It's on DVD and Blu-ray. And then last week I just picked up uh, Bleach 3, uh, the movie, which is also on DVD and Blu-ray. She does Yurichi in that. So make sure you pick that up, too. Be sure to pick it up, or it could be something we'll have to work out with Ichigo in Waco Mundo. And how is it working across from Bosch? the many oh, things you do, by the way. He is insane. I love this man. Um, it's fantastic. It's a dream job. He knows Ichigo so well that I do very little directing. I'm mostly helping him with rewriting and letting him know what's going on in the stories and uh, supporting the work, the genius work that he does. Johnny is like the ultimate Ichigo. He's fantastic and truly one of my very favorite people to work with, so I should have mentioned that sooner. Have you met the Japanese counterpart of Faye Valentine at all? No, yeah. I have not. No. I've seen an interview with her, and I just remember her saying that the first time she saw Faye, they asked us both the same questions in an interview at one time, one inter interview taking place with her in Japan and one with me here in the States. And one of the questions they asked both of us was, what was your first impression of Faye? And the Japanese actress said she thought she was so vulgar. And I just thought that was so cute and so <laughs> honest. And I just, the first time I saw Faye, I just thought she was so cool and so hot. And I just couldn't believe I was getting a chance to be the voice of that character. I, I was really uh, honored. And I felt as if I was onto something very special. Is there anything going on right now that you would like to promote, whether it be releases coming out, uh, website, friends? Sure. You know, the best thing is if you're a Facebook person to join me on Facebook, Wendy Lee Dash Artist. And there I always post everything that I'm up to. If I've got a show that I can promote and when it's ready to be announced, I announce there. I try to include a lot of photos. I also list whatever anime conventions I'll be at or if I'm speaking somewhere or teaching a workshop. So it's a good way to stay in touch. Well, thank you very much for you're your welcome. time. You have a great rest of the convention. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Going. I'm not going to be waiting for Fei Fei. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is now. <laughs>